guys good morning thank you for joining if you're seeing me for the first time my name is joyce here and i am glad to have you here please do well to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever i upload a video and to my returning subscribers thank you so much i love you so guys today we are leaving lake districts the lake district where well, we are leaving the lake districts the countryside it's honestly it's so beautiful i don't want to leave or i mean snow. we have to and it's going to snow so we had planned to check out what is for 10 o'clock but we're leaving before 10 because it's going to start we're snowing because it's going to start snowing at 10 Four. It's going to start snowing at 10 so i just thought to do like um a room tour and yeah so let's do that okay so guys that's the door and when you enter you see this um i don't know this drawer just by the right no the left yeah by the left and there's a small kettle that i really kind of fancy like so small I like it. Yeah, this is where they have the tea, coffee, Nesca, um, milk, sugar, what have you. And yeah, this is the wine opener. That's the water. So guys, fun fact is, I honestly do not like drinking tap water in Scunthorpe. But in here, the water, honestly, the water is just so nice. And it's tap water, which is very cool. Because the water in Scunthorpe is really hard. I think the water here is also hard. But tiny, tiny, like, you would not even see it. Like, in Scunthorpe, if you make tea, you would see that water like you will see how it looks on top you that shows you how hard the water is but in here when you make tea it's just like a very in fact you won't even notice if you don't look closely so the water here is superb so this drawer has got this clay um cupboard or whatever has got like three drawers three drawers here mm, and the other one is down here it's got um that's the tv there's a chair there and when you come this way there's a dresser by the bedside no a drawer by the bedside <laughs> and that's the bed i had to make it you guys i always have to do this because i always do my room tour when we're leaving so i mean i had to make the bed so it looks good so that's the bed and there's another drawer there and in here is they say is bathrooms here you have um like where you can hang your clothes depends how long you're staying there's a um there's um what's that ah there's another small bed maybe you have someone else that needs a bed there's another bed there and a spring bed or whatever that's called and there's a ironing board there there's a fridge there and yeah, you can put some things. There's a fan and, st and stuff there. And here, there's my favorite thing. <laughs> there's a mirror here. So cool. And yeah, you come this way. You see this um, window side chair, which is gorgeous. It's beautiful. And this sister, which is my sister-in-law, has got something like this in her house. Like a window seat. I mean, built the same way. Which is cool and you guys see the blinds this is so cool and here is the window where you see there's not much to see but i mean can you see that white house there can you see that house the house is so gorgeous i love it and here is the radiator i like the fact that it's this type like it's so warm honestly it's so warm and in here is the dresser and it's got a mirror cool in it and a dressing chair and drawers here as well ah there's a dryer there i didn't even take note of that and there's this nice chair i love this it's fancy and there's another window there cool and yep in here we have the bathroom so there's a mirror there with the lights let me see see it's cool right so that's all about this accommodation so guys i'm wearing this shirt from zara 
the tights or leggings is from River Island. The shoe is from, I can't remember. <laughs> and I'll be wearing the coat. This coat is from Primark and the scarf is from River Island. And the gloves are from Primark. So that's the full look. That's my look for today. Okay, let's go on this waiting. Goodbye, 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 my lover. Cold. Belt on. Goodbye to this beautiful place. Until I see you again next time. Don't miss me too much. We will be back again. Yeah. Is it also going to snow in Manchester? No, 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 not Manchester. We're not actually going into Manchester. We'll, yeah. go, around, we'll go around the outskirts of Manchester. Tomorrow, I wouldn't bother leaving early. I'd like to see. I'd like to use to see the snow here, but I don't want to be traveling in it. It's dangerous. Because people don't know how to drive it. Myra Hindley and Ian Brady, baby. They, they kidnap kids and 
were sexually molested, they were killed, and were buried above this hill. Jeez. In the early war? 60s and 70s, 60s. They, um, they both died now. They both died a couple years ago in prison. Jesus. There's one, he, he, the guy, over a period of many years, told all the families where he buried him. But there was one, she was desperate to find out where he was, her son was buried. And he refused to tell her all the way to his dying day. But she never got, she never got, 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 got closure. When it was building this motorway, it was lost. This was a village in this area here, and the government tried to buy up all the houses so they could put this motorway in where it is. Um, so they put what they call compulsory purchase orders on the houses. But the guy who owned this one was greedy. He kept hanging on and hanging on and refused to sell. Um, so all the other houses were bought up. But what he, what, what he was hoping to get, if he was the last one, he would get the biggest payoff. But in, in the end, the local government said we're not doing it. <laughs> so they just built the most way around his house. So now he's got a house that's worthless because nobody would ever buy it. Yeah. So what you thought was going to happen backfired on him big time. Yeah. But that house don't, it looks like nobody lives there. No, they don't. All this traffic going past every whole day, every day, the noise in the house. So this bridge is it used to be a swing bridge. So men's used to open several times a day, but now it only opens a couple of times a year. Okay. What happens when it opens? Then the traffic can go over it. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying to the end. Thank you for driving with us. And I wish yeah. you had been driving us. <laughs> thank you so much. Andy has driven, well, on from um, the Lake District to Stonthorpe is like three hours, 20 minutes, right? And we're home. I'm happy to be home though. Although I miss the Lake District, but I'll be there. I know I'll be there soon. So guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed and turn on your notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And to my returning subscribers, thank you for always loving. Thank you for always showing love. <laughs> Bye guys. I was